Hello friends, this video on DNF block elements part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the question says for the first row transition metal E0 values are given for M2 to M. And there is an irregularity if you see the value decrease and then increase here. Decrease, decrease, decrease and then increase here. So there are two irregularities here. We will tell why there is irregularity. So we are talking about irregularity for manganese to Mn plus 2. The value is nothing but plus 1.18 volt, right? I am writing the oxidation reaction. This is all reduction values given. Copper to copper 2 plus E comes out to be minus 0.34 volt. There are various ways to answer the question. If you see, we can go by the electronic configuration also. If we talk about the electronic configuration of copper, copper is pretty stable 3D10, 4S1. If you talk about the electronic configuration of copper 2 plus, this is 3D9, 4S0. This is not stable. This is stable because this is full filled, this is half filled. Right? Thus, U2 plus is not stable, but U is stable. So from not stable, not stable to stable, sorry, this is copper is stable to not stable. If you are having this reaction where the left hand side is not stable and right hand side is so the left hand side is stable and the right hand side is not stable, you actually have to provide the energy. And that's why E for this oxidation reaction is minus 0.34 volt. Correct? And that's why this is a positive value and this is again not in the trend. And same thing for manganese to Mn2 plus if you see, for Mn if you talk about the electronic configuration 3D5, 4S2 and Mn2 plus it is 3D5. For as it is stable, this is more stable actually. So reaction moves in the forward direction more easily and the E oxidation is a high positive value. Thus, if you see, it is breaking the trend because at these two positions, we have two different scenarios, right? In one case, the, the product is very much stable. In another case, the reactant was stable and the product is not stable. So thus, we got a positive value here that means M2 plus 2, M2 is a feasible reaction that is copper 2 ions can easily convert to copper. Okay. If you want, we can also see the same thing from the ionization energy. You see here for copper, the next ionization energy, second ionization energy has increased so much. See the trend, it has increased a little bit, but here it has increased so much. Why? Because to pluck out one electron, let's see this Cu plus ion. Uh, electronic configuration. This is the Cu plus ion electronic configuration 3D10 4S0. From this if you want to plug one electron it becomes 3D9 4S0. This is unstable. This is stable. So it will be difficult to plug one electron from Cu plus ion to Cu plus 2. That means the second ionization energy of copper will be high. And if you see that's how it is. The second ionization energy of copper is very high and that's why this value comes out to be positive. Okay. If you talk about mang uh, Mn so if you see Mn plus 1, if you see, we talk about Mn plus 1, the electronic configuration is 3D5, 4S1. And from this you are making Mn2 plus 3D5, 4S0. This is better. This is more stable. So if you see, this has a very less, less value. 1510 has a very, very less value actually. So typically, as we go down the group, the second ionization energy increases. But if you see here for magnesium, this has decreased. And for copper, it has increased a lot. And that's why there is a variation here. Okay, there are different ways of answering this question. The next is why the E0 value of Mn3 plus to Mn2 plus couple more positive than Cr3 plus to Cr2 plus or Fe2 plus 3 plus to Fe2 plus. So this is the value. Right, so it says that E0 values for uh, this couple, magnesium couple is 1.57 is much more positive than my chromium, chromium couple or iron couple. So let's see this reaction, Mn3 plus to Mn2 plus, Mn3 plus to Mn2 plus, the value is 1.57, okay. For chromium, 3 plus to chromium 2 plus, the value is minus 0.41 that is the reaction is not feasible or not favorable for iron fe3 plus to fe2 plus it is favorable 
and it is 0.77 volt. So the answer for all these actually you can get in the electronic configuration. So let's see the MN2 plus configuration. MN2 plus configuration is 3D5 4S0. MN3 plus will be 3D4 4S0. So out of these which is more stable? 3D4 or 3D5? Obviously 3D5. So since right hand side is more stable, the, the reaction will move in the right hand side and thus you will get a high value of E in this case. Okay. I am talking about E reduction in all the case. Let's talk about the chromium 3 and chromium 2. Chromium 2 has the electronic configuration of 3D4, 4S0. Chromium 3, 3D3, 4S0. 3D3 and 4S, uh, 3D4, which one is more stable? Obviously 3D3. Why? Because 3D3 is stable at least by T2G configuration. But 3D4 is not stable by any configuration. This is more stable. So left hand side is more stable, right hand side is less stable. So this, like, this reaction will not move forward. Not have tendency to move forward and so on. So the E reduction potential has a negative value. Let's talk about iron. Fe2 plus, in case of iron, the electronic configuration is 3D5, sorry, 3D6, 4S2. And Fe3 plus is 3D5, 4S0. It's all zero. Yeah. This is 3D5, 4S0. And this is 3D6, 4S0. So if we compare these two here, which this is stable, this is not that stable. Okay. This is little stable. And from there you are making not that stable. It's still okay. But here if you see, this is not stable, this is stable. So this reaction is very much favored. This reaction is not that much favored either. Okay. So in case of MN3 plus to MN2 plus, there's a large amount of energy released because this is totally unstable, this is totally stable. And thus we have high value of E reduction. The question is why is the highest oxidation state of metal exhibited in its oxides or fluorides only? See, I have told this metal oxides and metal fluorides. Here we have higher oxidation state because oxides and fluorides they are electronegative. High electronegative value actually, and they are smaller in size. So because of these, they uh, develops positive charge on this metal, and we have higher oxidation state of transition metal especially with oxides and fluorides which is the stronger reducing agent cr2 plus or fe2 plus and why so we have to tell which is a stronger reducing agent that means which can oxidize itself right so something which has a higher value of cr2 plus So the one which will oxidize itself easily is a stronger reducing agent. So let's talk about chromium to chromium 3 and iron 2 plus to iron 3. Right? Because these are the base agents for which we have to uh, tell whether they are strong or weak reducing agent. So chromium to chromium plus 3 and iron to iron plus 3. Let's see the reaction. So if you see chromium to chromium plus 3 it is when chromium plus 3 to chromium plus 2 it is 0.14 volt minus 0.14 volt so chromium to uh, chromium plus 2 to chromium plus 3 it will be plus 0.14 volt and similarly iron plus 2 to iron plus 3 it will be minus of this that is minus 0.77 volt so let me write this down okay this is 0.41 volt this is minus 0.77 volt. So now if you see directly, you can see here for this reaction, chromium to chromium plus 3 is more favorable because this emits 0.41 volt and iron to iron plus 3, you need 0.77 volt. Obviously, so chromium is a better reducing agent. Okay, because chromium can chromium plus 2 can easily oxidize. So chromium plus 2 is a better reducing agent. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.